That shit's crazy, man. You better not fall for that decoy. Like when they hunting. When they hunting the deer and they be like, eh, bah, trying to hit a deer and shit. Ha ha, dawn the best. Finna be this way till I EOS. Take it how you want, nigga. Yeah, I'm a pro. Fuck around, I'll bust your lot while you're at Vizzo. I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment. Waking up every day, show me an opponent. Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks. So much pool, I can even start you from the box. You don't wanna pay rent, got me bent. Got lax on deck, your money was well spent. Vultures on the prowl, so don't try testing. Step two, cause violent first steps, finessing. You a hold down man, suitcase this. My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp. Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it. Next time I see you, she gon' leave airlifted. What's up, everybody? You already know, man. K for all TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Today, I'm going to be touching, you know, topics basically on how you don't want to fall for the okie doke. All right. And this kind of like goes together with one of my homeboys that I met while I was in prison. His charge always stuck with me in the back of my mind. And like, there be times where, you know, he'd be walking through the dorm and I'd just be laid back on my bunk listening to my MP, you know, looking around the dorm. And, you know, that's when I get the time to read people. You know, I get to zoom in and look at him over there eating and, and he thinks he's the shit, you know. Look at him, old scary ass holding shit for people. Or look at him over here. You know, you get to read people and stuff. But my homeboy, his charge stuck with me because I always would look over at him and be like, man, he don't even deserve to be in here. You know, no matter where you get locked up at, there's always going to be at least a couple people you feel like truly don't deserve to be there. Now, you know how it is. You do the, you do the crime, you do the time. But I was in a violent-ass prison, okay? Bodies was dropping. You know what I'm saying? So for someone to land in prison over something that I feel like they shouldn't have landed in prison for, your life is on the line over, you know, some bullshit that you got arrested over. To me, I feel like you truly don't deserve to be there. Now, through it all, he fell for the okie doke, which is the same thing a lot of people actually fall for today, you know, with the, with the lifestyle and the way that shit's going on today on the streets. It's kind of the same thing. Now, what happened with him was, you know, he, he was from North Florida. He was from up there near the Panhandle area. So up there, you know, they go hunting, you know, they're, they're, they're known to hunt and stuff like that. We don't, we don't do that down here on down south where I'm from, you know, if, if we want to go hunting down here, we literally got to head north, you understand? Down south, we don't have, you know, a lot of grassy backyards with acres of yard land and stuff like that. We don't have deers going in our yard and rabbits jumping through our backyard and shit like that, you know, up north, it's different. So, my homeboy landed in prison because the officers set him up. All right, and I don't mean that, you know, they set them up with drugs, they set them up with, you know what I'm saying, guns or drug deals or anything like that. I mean, these officers literally put a decoy deer out there and waited for him to shoot it, you know? And I mean, I guess they do things different in different places. Like I said, that's up north, I'm down south. But they literally waited for him to get ready to take the shot and ambushed him. You feel me? So, and it was all over, you know, you're not allowed to hunt at a certain time. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't hunting season or anything like that. So he landed in prison for, you know, over a decoy deer. You feel me? A fake deer is why he landed in prison. So I used to look at him and be like, bro, you don't deserve to be in here. You mean to tell me you're in here where people are getting their shit ripped open, where they get wet up, bitches are getting took, all types of stuff. And you gotta, you know, you gotta protect yourself. You gotta be in survival mode and all this shit. All because you fell for a decoy. You see what I'm saying? And like I said, I used to observe, you know, the dorm and I would look at him and be like, man, he's one of them people that was just a cool, solid white boy. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't no hood gangster person taught with a slang. He was different. And no matter how many people came around and no matter how many people, you know, would talk ghetto or, or, or talk like that or was scared to act like they wasn't, you know, from the hood. He never changed who he was. He was that same person. You know what I'm saying? He said how he ate dip on the streets and how they'd go hunting and all this different shit. But what it was is the police knew of him. The police knew, you know, he was a country boy. You know, they're up there obviously from where he's at. They're probably all like that. So they knew they could bait him up and they could get him off the streets like that. You know, and he actually told me that he feels like they did it because one of his uh, baby mamas was like, you know, like 
either a niece or or something like that to one of the officers. So they didn't like him because of that, you know. But I'm like, damn, though, you came in this bitch for over a decoy deer, all right? And now y'all probably wondering, well, what's that shit got to do with today? On a, Like, what's it got to do with how it is today in the world? I'm going to tell you the perfect example. Same way with how the police set people up with snitches these days. Right? They have snitches out there that, you know, lure people in, whether it's a confidential informant when you're doing drug deals, you know, or whether it's just someone that is a rat that they're leaving on the streets to do what they do to lure other people in, you know? Just like they put that deer there and they sat back, waited and observed and seen who would come, they'll do the same thing with rats today on the streets. No matter what neighborhood you're in, there is people there that are rats that will literally tell the police anything, that probably done told the police anything. You ever met a person or seen someone somewhere that was known for telling, but at the same time, they're hustling? You see there in their house, stay flooded. You know, they stay having junkies over there, or, or you see them on the block, steady serving people, and the police don't ever book them, and it's like it's common sense what he's doing. It's because the police are letting him eat. The police got him as a decoy. He is the decoy. You see what I'm saying? And then that's what basically has to do with the same situation with my homeboy. How they baited him up with a fake deer. These days on the streets, they're baiting people up with decoys. Straight up. Let's see the attention that the person can bring. Let's see who they can bring down with them. Yeah, if we take him off the streets, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, he tells us things every once in a while. But if we take him off the streets, that's it. But instead, let's just leave them on the streets. Let's let's lock them up, you feel me? And then, you know, make it known that he called a charge, but let's go ahead and start throwing out some of these little charges to make them still think his street credibility is still good. So that way people still trust to go around him and make him think that we're not watching him no more. In all reality, the more people he lures in, the more people he goes around, they like this. That's what they're doing. They're looking, they're taking notes, and they're taking photos. You feel me? And that's how it is these days. A lot of people get jammed up, especially down here in Broward County. It happens all the time. If you're from Broward County, then you already know what a CI is, a confidential informant. You feel me? There's no, no word about it. If you're from where I'm from, then you done heard of them before. You know, and you know, when you get locked up, that's when you'll finally see who the CI on your case was. When you get your discovery, you're gonna be like, damn, bro. That's who the undercover person was, bro. That's who was working with the police. You see what I'm saying? And all that can be avoided if you just pay attention. Pay attention better. I used to tell my homeboy in prison, I'm like, dog, like, if you would have observed that deer dog, you probably wouldn't be in here right now. And he's like, you dead ass right, dog. I just seen it, bro. He was like, I was driving. I pulled over, dog. And when I aimed at it, he's like, when I first aimed at it, I didn't even have nothing in my, I didn't, it wasn't even loaded. He's like, and then I, I went back to load it real quick, put it there, and the deer still didn't move. I said, man, as much as you've been hunting, as much as deers you probably clap during hunting season, you know the difference from a decoy and a real deer, don't you? He's like, yeah, of course. I'm like, okay, well, obviously you didn't. You didn't then, you know what I'm saying? If you would have just paid attention more, then you would have been able to tell something's off. Same thing with these decoys on the streets. A lot of people that get arrested for things, man, they charges don't just straight up. It's possible. They can just get, not saying you ain't gonna get your charge thrown out or anything like that. But at the same time, if there's enough things to, you know, probable cause to book someone, to take them in and to arrest them. And the way that shit's all lined up, if there's enough evidence, that shit ain't finna just get thrown out. If it does, they swap, bro. They gave them information that they're eventually gonna use against someone else later on down the line. They're decoys. They're put there on the streets, just like them deers are put out there in the damn woods to catch you off guard. Now, the decoy deer are normally, you know, to make 
other deers feel like, oh, here comes another, there's another one right there. You know what I'm saying? They got that spray or whatever they spray to, when it's mating time or do the little mating calls and all that shit, whatever they do, to where they lure another deer in, right? Same thing with these people on the streets. They got these decoy dope dealers, these decoy hood niggas, these decoy wannabe gangsters, wannabe thugs. And they're put out there to actually reel in someone that is doing the same shit, that carries their self, that is basically supposed to be the same type of person as them. Because if they looked any different, they want to lure a different type in, a different breed. If they put a damn decoy duck out there, they're not going to reel in a deer. Right or wrong? If they put a decoy college student out there on the corner, they're not going to reel in all the dope boys, are they? No. But if people were to pay attention more and observe and see shit for what it truly is, then you know you would find yourself in less bad situations. Because like I said, me and my dog, we would get in arguments and shit, and I would always tell him, if your ass ain't want to take that shot of that decoy, you want to be here. Or I'd just be like, man, I don't want to hear that shit. Ain't no way in hell someone who got jammed up over a decoy deer gonna tell me. And I used to just be joking with him, but I would always throw that in there. And our arguments, whether we're laughing together, no matter what it was, this coming from someone who's in here for aiming a gun at a decoy deer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro, you can't take him serious. Bro, he's in here, bitch, over a decoy deer. You know, like we used to make jokes about it, you know? We weren't laughing at him, we were laughing with him though, you know what I'm saying? He was part of it, you know, he would laugh about it, she'd be like, man, F you frog, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, man, he'd be like, here you go with the bullshit. I'm like, bro, I'm just being real. You see what I'm saying? But if he would've took the time to pay attention and see that shit, and to see that that ain't a real deer, you get what I'm saying? And to see, you know, that bitch ain't moving, you know, he wouldn't have been in there over that. And that charge always stuck with me because People don't understand the danger that comes with going to prison. Literally. You can't judge it off of the people who've made it through prison. To be like, oh yeah, I know I can make it because such and such made it. You can't do it like that because prison is different. No matter when you go, who you go with, who you were there with. It is, it's, it's, it's a consistent rotation. Literally. You could be like this. Bubble 1000. Knocking everything out, ready to rock out, ready to go to war by any means. And you can still get bagged in there. You could be deer meat. And then there could be somebody that won't bust a grape, that's scared as hell, that don't want no conflict or confrontations or none of that shit, that makes it through prison. You see? So you can't go off of thinking, oh, well, if such and such made it, or this one dude made it, so it can't be that bad. He made it through prison. Because you never know why that person made it through prison. Or how that person made it. See what I'm saying? And I said this plenty of times. We could go to prison together. We can have the same amount of time. We can have the same charge. We could be co-defendants or not co-defendants. We could get there the same day, go through the same dorms, every single thing, step by step. And my bid will be totally different than your bid. But people got to learn to open up their eyes and stop falling for the decoys. See what I'm saying? They want you to think prison isn't bad. They want you to think prison is sweet. And then you got other people that want you to think prison is, oh my gosh, anywhere but there. Please don't send me there. I don't know what I would do if I got sent there. You know what I'm saying? And you can't go off of either or. You see what I'm saying? When you see these TV shows, they put shit on there either to scare you about jail or prison. A lot of it be bullshit. Or you see this other shit that make prison or jail look like it ain't nothing. And a lot of that be bullshit. It's all on you and where you land and how you end up landing there. But do not be one of these dudes that fall for the decoys. If you know someone's telling, stay from around them. If you know someone talks to the police, stay from around them. If you know the police are watching that individual, yes, is best off, stand from around them. That's the best advice because if it looks like a duck and it walks like a duck, it's a duck. Straight up. So you don't want to be one of them people that is locked up over some bullshit. While that same person that was the decoy is out here on the street still living life looking for his next person to set up and lock up. Because what it is is 
when the heat's on and that pressure's on, it busts pipes. So the same person who's out here telling on people and setting people up, trying so hard to be a full-time savage, a gangster, them same type of people, all they're trying to do is cut that time down. They're trying to get all the attention off them. If 100% of the attention is on them from their stupidity, from them messing up or getting caught and being put on the radar on their self from the get-go, 100% of that shit's on them. They're just going to try to water it down by chopping it up in the thirds and then in the fourths and then in the fifths to where next thing you know, that 100% is spread amongst eight different people. Hoping that they get slighter sentence at the end. You got to watch for these things, man. A lot of these things that I talk about that have to do with prison have to do with the streets as well. You see what I'm saying? And I learned shit in prison that prepared me for the streets. But I also learned shit in the streets that prepared me for prison. You understand? That's why when I talk, I try to say things that can help you regardless if it's on the inside or on the outside. You got to pay attention to the things that are out there in front of you because a lot of that shit is just an illusion. It looks like it's gold, but it ain't really shining, bro. You know what I'm saying? It makes you think that you're seeing shit for what it is, but it truly ain't. Nine times out of ten, the people that you see online that talk like they gangster, like they a savage, they steadily posting ratchet shit, you feel me, just straight recklessly. They just got something to prove. They want to look like they the hardest person in the world. And they truly ain't like that. They truly are not like that off camera. Them real ones are the ones that are constantly posting shit online about their family. You know, all good positivity role model shit. But them be the ones behind the scenes on the street that are truly on that. You understand? Because only a fool would want to tell them they self. You know what I'm saying? But only if you a full time gangster and you're a smacker and you're part of the cartel and you you sell more dope than anybody and you ride around with five twenty four seven for real, you'd be a dumbass to post it. You'd be a dumbass to tell everybody or want everyone to look at you like that. You understand? But if you truly doing that and then you're posting nothing but good stuff, them the ones you got to worry about. Them the ones that got screws up there. Them are the ones that know exactly how to play their role. They play chess, not checkers. Them are the type of people that you got to surround yourself by. Rather than the other people who are decoys, man. You feel me? If y'all ever came across somebody, man, that got set up by a CI, which we're just calling them decoys for this video because of my homeboy's charge. Which I know he's going to see this video because he just hit me up not that long ago talking about, bro, I watch all your videos, dog. And I told him, bitch, I'm finna mention you in there, dog. He like, come on, bro. You know, people in my neighborhood, bro, they still be talking about that shit, dog. They gonna know you talk about me. I said, I won't put your name in it. He's like, all right, bet that up. You feel me? But then he tried to double back and be like, nah, bro, you gotta shout me out, bro. And this and that. And I'm like, man, you for real? And he's like, hell yeah. Two days later, nah, bro, never mind. Like, it was so on his mind about this situation and me talking about it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, we're going to call CIs decoys. That way I can intertwine the shit from prison and the shit on the streets. You know what I'm saying? If you know anybody that got set up over a decoy, over a CI, fell for the okie doke, if they let a dummy trick them off the streets, drop it in the comment section. Even though that's my dog, he knows them police tricked them off the streets. And they trick people off the streets all the other time. Whether it's with deers or whatever, where they hunt in the redneck parts, or whether it's with fake dope boys, wannabe gangsters, undercover CIs, rats, with everybody that's from a hood, urban area. That shit goes on, it's the same thing. It doesn't really matter how they get you, but if they want to, they will. You feel me? But that's all I got for y'all today, man. I'm gonna wrap this video on up. Y'all don't forget now, Make sure you drop in the comment section any scenario, any situation to where people know that person was telling or people knew something was wrong with that dude. Like my homeboy knew something was off with that deer that night. You feel me? 
If you know anyone that knew something was off of that person from the get-go and they still fought with them, they still hung out with them, they still wanted to get money with them, they went back and forth with them, whatever it may be, and then they got jammed up behind it, man, put that shit in the comments section, man. Not just me, but I'm pretty sure everybody else is going to read up on it too. I appreciate y'all watching this video. I truly mean that every single time I say this. But it's all I got for y'all today. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button. Keep them rat squares, snakes, chomos, decoys, gunners, lion ass, clout, get riders, all them. Keep them out your circle, man. Until next time, it's Frog.